Hi Aries, Summon Rising and Venus, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing your love reading for November 2023. If this doesn't resonate, you're more than welcome to check your other placements and cross watchers. This could be vice versa. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to be taking a look at your love interest, what their feelings are, actions they plan on taking, and then towards the end, we'll be taking a look at singles. All right. Cutting this Holy Spirit. What does this person want to tell Aries? What are their feelings for Aries at this time? Okay. Aries. This person wants to tell you, I'm so torn right now. You are breaking down these walls I've built around my heart. I'm done playing games with you. It was childish. And would you respond back? Wow. If my camera would just work. There we go. Wow. Okay, so it looks like there's little to no communication between you and this person. Could have been a very on and off situation. I am picking that up. Um, or it could be something that never really picked up. But there was like some games involved here. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of games type of energy. Um, okay, this, also, this person also wants to tell you, can you wear that outfit again? I'm burning with passion for you. What the heck? Look at this. This is hilarious. <laughs> so this person's very much attracted to you, Aries. Okay, they have a lot of passion for you. There's a specific outfit that they really liked. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it looks like this person could have been very guarded for whatever reason. Maybe they got hurt in the past. Um, they don't want to play games, Aries. That's what I'm picking up on. Like This person just does not want to play games. They want to get straight to the point. They want to talk to you. Like, very interesting. I'm getting two messages. If you've never talked to this person, but for whatever reason, things never picked up between you two, they're scared you're not going to respond for whatever reason. And if you did have a thing with this person, because of how things played out, because there were so many games and like possibly childlike behavior, um, on and off energy, then they're just scared that you're really done, if that makes any sense. Let's see what's going on here. <laughs> What is this person's feelings for Aries? What is this person's feelings for Aries? Kind of just Holy Spirit. What is this person's feelings? Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy, the Chariot, and the lovers wanted to show its face. Well, it looks like this person definitely does have a lot of passion for you a lot of desire for you there's a strong magnetic connection here between you and this person could be a gemini cancer or an earth sign does not have to be they could have those placements in their chart but i feel like this person wants to give you something they want to offer you something here but i feel very slow energy here when it comes to offering something okay here's the thing aries like it's like a head between heart type of situation like their mind is telling them Okay, move slowly, like just move slowly. You got to be kind of sneaky when it comes to approaching Aries. You got to be wise. Um, and then their heart is like, bro, like just rush in and like get it over with. Okay, so that's the energy I'm picking up on. Let's go ahead and clarify. I want to see why the Seven of Swords is here. That could be deceptive energy. Um, but let's clarify before I say anything. Why is the Seven of Swords here for this person's feelings for Aries? Holy Spirit, the Magician, the Five of Pentacles, I mean Five of Swords, and the King of Cups. Okay, for here's the thing. This person could have been a player in the past. Yeah, they could have been a player, but then they met you and they're like, shit, you know? Or if they were a player when they were with you, Aries, trust me, they're like, why did I even do that, you know? Um, but this person could have like been player-like. If you never had a thing with this person, like if you were never in a relationship with this person, they could have very much been a player before you, before meeting you, okay? But it's like now they have really strong feelings for you and it's freaking them out. Okay, this is 
also could tell me that they realized that playing all these games did nothing but cause damage in the connection, the relationship, but this person does have love for you. Yeah, they have love for you. In fact, I feel like they're a little obsessed. Okay, you have the shadow side, um, could be a Capricorn, and the Ten of Cups. So this person does see themselves growing with you, having a family with you. They feel like really good around you. Um, but they could be also very obsessive. Like I feel the energy like this person gets very obsessed when they're not with you. They start to think like who is she with, who is he with, what are they doing, etc. What happened between Aries and this person, the lovers? Okay, so maybe there was, oh, oh, yeah, for some of you, this is a new love. Okay, I'm getting two stories. This could be a new love where things never picked up, okay, because maybe it started off like really childish or maybe there was another person involved. I'm hearing Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius. Um, for others of you, yeah, like either a decision was never made or somebody could have went off to a new love. Yeah, either you or them. Okay, so take whichever resonates, but this person, I mean, they've been thinking a lot about you, okay, the Hermit Virgo energy, they do want to offer you long-term commitment, marriage for some of you, stability. All right, let's see, what actions does this person plan on taking towards Aries? What actions does this person plan on taking towards Aries? Can I just the spirit? Give me clear messages. Actions this person plans on taking towards Aries. Whoa, that jumped out. Eight of Pentacles. So they think a lot about you. They're strategizing. This is someone who strategizes. Like, this is not someone that's like... Um... I see them coming up with a plan, Aries. Let's put it that way. Yeah, this person could be at a distance or from a different culture. You could have met them during travels as well. Um, or something about travels is significant here. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Aries? Seven of Cups. More strategizing energy. So I feel like this person is really strategizing, overthinking how do I approach Aries? How do I approach Aries? Like, I keep hearing that. How do I approach Aries? Like, what do I do? How do I even fix this? Like, I don't want to, like, damn. They're fearing rejection. Their intuition is telling them, like, just do it. But then they're kind of, like, scared of rejection. Yeah, eight of wands. <laughs> this person could be at a distance. Maybe you met them online through travels or, you know, I just see this person, like, really a lot of back and forth communication. They're going to take the risk and communicate with you, Aries. Um, they are okay, but they are scared of you're not responding back and I feel like they're trying to find a way Like they're trying to find um, a specific message to send you where you can't reject them Like if that makes any sense like they're strategizing here Action this person finds I'm taking three of swords. Okay, so there could have been a third party situation here All right, maybe this is why things went south between the two Yeah, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, and Queen of Cups. Okay, wow, this is very powerful. Yeah, this person could be at a distance. There could be a three to three to eight, three to eight age difference between the two. Something about August is very significant as well. I'm seeing February, May, April, April, May, August. July for some of you, okay? I don't know. Those are just random ones that came to me. Um, but yeah, I see this person coming forward, taking a risk, and offering you love, Aries. I know, you know, I'm not sugarcoating it. This is what the cards are saying, okay? And I do see them communicating, but I do want to see why the Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here, okay? Because I know not everything could be perfect here or will be perfect. But why is the three of swords here for the action? This person plans on... Okay, I just got... I received the message. I received the message. This person could be telling you I received a message or somebody told me something. Or you could be running into this person at a party. Celebration gathering, okay? Yeah. Maybe you met this person near water or something about near water. Why is the three of swords here? For the action this person plans on taking towards Aries. The ace of pentacles. Eight of pen okay, there could have been something going on at someone's job. 
or something to do with finances. Someone may need to like make a decision between two people. I feel like it's you, Aries. I feel like it's you. I don't know. Very interesting. One more action this person plans on taking. Five of Cups. They could be apologizing for something. Maybe they said something that hurt your feelings. Or they could have legit put you in a third party situation. But they're going to clear the air here with you. Yeah, I see like strong apology here for something that was said or misunderstanding or maybe just childish behavior, okay? Um, maybe when you two were drinking or something like that. But I see potential for a new beginning here. You do have three aces. Three aces, Aries. So, yeah. All right. I do feel like this person wants to have a new beginning with you. They think a lot about you. They're scared of rejection. I will throw that out there, though. just go ahead and see what else does this person want to tell Aries what else I've sent you cryptic messages through social media I'm working on healing so that I can come back to you yeah you see maybe this person like I think I mentioned in the beginning of your reading they could have gone through like something rough in their past or something and so they weren't that type of person to let just anybody in maybe that's why they were a player to me you are perfect and what if I can't meet your expectations? So yeah, this person could have a little bit of uh, insecurities. Yeah, you see, maybe you deserve better than me. But I feel like um, they still want you, Aries. They want they want to heal and do things right. All right. Who or what is coming towards Aries Singles? November 2023. Who or what is coming towards Aries Singles? November 2023. Three of Cups. All right. I see you going out a lot with your friends. Possibly going on a date in the month of November. Okay. Celebrations. You could be meeting someone out or someone when you're out. Four of Swords. Some of you could be recovering from a surgery from your something about your health. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. A lot. Of, spending a lot of time with family. A lot of a lot of spending a lot of time with family, friends, and your dog. I don't know. Somebody has a dog. Two dogs, okay. Um, tell me more about this. Ten of Pentacles for Aries in love. Some of you could be meeting someone through friends or family as well. Five of Wands. A lot of people fighting for your attention. There's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Doesn't want to see you single. Okay. This person doesn't want to see you single. They're rushing back here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They can't stand that like you're doing good without them or that you're looking really good, looking better than ever, I'm hearing. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you have an important choice to make. You've been, you're going to be thinking a lot in November, reflecting a lot, contemplating, learning from past mistakes as well. Virgo energy. The Sun. Beautiful. The Sun card. Leo. Some of you could be meeting a Leo, connecting with someone who has Leo or Virgo in their chart. Um... Happy times, for sure. I see you being very happy, celebrating, doing you. Aries, singles. Some of you could be meeting someone at a wedding as well. Some type of event or wedding, okay? Baby shower, random. <laughs> Page of Wands. Um, yeah, I, some of you could be trying something new, whether it's with your appearance, whether it's a new course, a new job, a new idea. Two more Aries singles in love, November 2023. Ten of, ten, ten of cups, guys, this is oh, beautiful. Yeah, there's a strong Leo coming your way. So if you meet someone new, if you're dealing with somebody, check to see if they have Leo or Virgo in their chart. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm seeing strong Leo and Virgo, but especially Leo. But look at this. You have the ten of cups, ten of pentacles, and the sun. Like, it can't get better than this. You got all the best cards in the deck. Okay, Aries? So November looks good. It looks good. I do see someone trying to like, you know, kind of kill your vibe because you're doing so good. They might try to like come back and like, no, Aries, uh, I don't see you falling for it though. Okay. 
All right, Aries, so this is what I have for you. If it didn't resonate, feel free to check your other placements. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.